sorry about that. My my phone froze up for some reason. But anyways, what I was saying is these stupid teachers that are taking these kids out to march, not all the teachers, just the teachers that are taking these kids out to march, are doing this for their own agenda. Their own agenda. It's like, are you for real? You're supposed to be a teacher that is teaching my kid English, science, social studies, math, gym, music, art. Anything that a kid learns in school, that's what you're you're there for. And and instead, you are teaching my kid that it's good to go out and march for something stupid. Now, are my kids doing this? No, in my area, it's not happening. I don't think there's no marches happening. But in all these areas that I'm seeing these march marches, it's just pisses me off and there was even kids getting wrote up yes kids getting wrote up for not going and marching at these things like if you refuse to go outside during this you'd get wrote up and that's freaking crazy like a kid doesn't have a choice if he wants to go out and march or not really the kid should have a choice he should be able to come up with his own own freaking agreement he should be able to figure out his own choices your kids should have their own choices and for some reason uh, these schools are trying to take your kids choices away that's right take your kids choices away take everything from them take guns from their parents without these kids even understanding what they're marching for and it just pisses me off and I keep seeing this picture on Facebook and you guys, are, a lot of you guys probably have seen this, where they put out the uh, the shoes on the uh, on the Capitol building lawn. They put out these shoes, fourteen thousand of them, I think it was, fourteen thousand shoes, pairs of shoes, on the lawn of the Capitol building, and they're talking about how this is how many kids have been killed since Sandy Hook, fourteen thousand. Which seems like a whole lot because, I mean, yes, yeah, Sandy Hook was, I don't know, I don't think it was that long ago, six, seven years ago maybe, and I don't think 14,000 kids have been killed in the schools since then, but I could I, I could be wrong, I mean, and, and maybe because I don't really watch the news, I catch like trending stuff that's happening, but I don't really keep up with freaking the news because I don't believe what the news has to say is real like CNN, CBS, NBC all them fake ass news channels so I just don't watch the news that much I catch my own stuff I watch uh, stuff on Facebook, I check out the trending page uh, listen to Rush, Rush Limbaugh on my radio but uh, it's just like oh my gosh guys I, I just don't get what these schools are trying to pull off what the, what what what's the point of marching and having these kids march to have no idea why they're marching it, it just it pisses me off guys but you know I, i'm done with this subject i'm gonna move on to another one because this one's just really gonna start pissing me off even worse but comment below and tell me what you think about the the kids march from these schools you think it was a good idea you think it was a stupid idea do, do you think gun control should take all your guns because if they take one gun, guys, they're going to keep going after more guns until they have all the guns. That's just how it's going to work. And if you don't think that's how it's going to work, let them take one gun and see what happens. Uh, but anyways, on to the next subject, CM Punk. Uh, his first UFC fight was a joke, guys. I mean, he built him up so big and so powerful and like he's going to be this amazing amazing UFC fighter he's been putting all this time and effort in he's gonna be super huge in the UFC and uh, he's gonna be this big deal and he goes out and gets his ass whooped and I think it was under two minutes of the first round yes I, I, I'm I could be wrong with that I and mean, he might have lasted three or four minutes but he didn't even last the first round he got his ass whooped and I mean whooped like his face was bruised, he was bleeding, his ear was busted open, 
and, and this was just in the first round of, of the match. He, he lost that. And now he's going to have a second UFC fight. This one is going to happen in June, I do believe. June 9th or June 29th. It's in June, It's and it's on the 9th, I think. Either the 9th or the 29th. Or the 19th. I don't know. I could be wrong altogether. It might not even be uh, on a 9. But it's in June. 100% in June. It's in Chicago. Which is kind of a crazy thing that CM Punk would want to have his second match in his hometown. In the UFC. I mean, I understand why he's doing it. Because there's going to be a big show for him. It's going to be super hyped for him. People are going to want to see it in, in uh, Chicago. But it's going to be bad if he goes out there and he gets his ass whooped in the first round again. And and I'm sorry, but I, I think there's a good potential, guys, that we're going to see CM Punk get his ass whooped in the first round of his second UFC fight. I just don't think he's meant to be a UFC fighter. Uh, he, he just, he, the skills aren't there for him. He, he's, he, he's been trained to be a wrestler, a WWE, Ring of Honor, New Japan wrestler. That, that's what he is. That's what he's been. That's what he's trained to become. And, and that's just his whole, his whole him is wrestling. And UFC, I just don't see him making it. If he does win this fight, is he really going to go on and get a a uh, title fight? I just don't see them being dumb enough to give this guy a title fight. I just don't see it happening. I just don't see him making it in the UFC. He should go back to the WWE. That's just my opinion. All right, guys, check out part three of my my thoughts today. I'm going to stop this part, and you guys just go on to part three once you get done listening to this.